Hi everyone, Mrs. Sears here. This video is going to show you how to use Adobe Spark to do video editing. On our Instagram survey, we asked you guys what type of YouTube video you would like and the media tutorial one. So I'm gonna show you how to do video and then hopefully you guys can share whatever crafts or projects you're working on at home with us and I can post them to the YouTube page as well. Okay, so to get started using Adobe Spark, you're gonna to go to spark.adobe.com. Once you're there, you can hit get started now. You'll see that Adobe Spark offers a bunch of different options in terms of what you can create using uh, the website. But the one that I'm gonna focus on today specifically is the video. So I'm gonna hit create a project and then I'm going to select video. You can choose from a template. Um, if you hover over it, it will give you an idea you, of what that template looks like. Or you could start from scratch. For the YouTube videos that I made so far, I did select uh, start from scratch. Once you're in the system, you'll see that Adobe gives you a bunch of different options um, for starting your first slide. And with Adobe Spark, I really would think of these as more of slides than traditional video editing software where at the bottom there's a bunch of timelines where you can drag out how long you want something to go on for or um, where you want it to intercept or transition. So in that way, Adobe is a kind of more intuitive, easy to use video software because you don't have to worry about matching up all your timelines. It kind of does that for you. With that being said, that does restrict your creative freedom with it. So if you're looking for more creative videos where you really want to use transitions and things like that, I would not recommend Adobe Spark. You might want to use Typedo or WeVideo, but if you created a video such as a tutorial and you really don't want to spend a lot of time editing it but you want it to look polished, Adobe Spark would be a great option. Okay, so like I was saying, on the first slide here, you'll see that Adobe asks do you want to upload a video, have text, a photo, or an icon. Those are the four main um, features that you can add to your video using this platform. So if you already record it yourself, you would select video and then you can upload the video from your downloads files. Okay, so I'm using the video footage I took from last week's YouTube video where I did the cotton ball launcher to give you an idea of what it looks like when you upload a video to Adobe. So when you're on here, you have the option of dragging it for uh, up to 30 seconds. So you can play up to 30 seconds of video at a time um, using the video creator. Now, if I wanted to cut, like in this case I would, since I was filming myself, I had to use a tripod and I had to walk into the scene. However, I did not want my viewers to sit there and watch me walk into the scene. I wanted it to appear as if I was already there. So you can drag this little icon here to cut until you are in the shot. Once you're ready, you'll hit save. Okay, so now my video loaded. Um, I can add additional slides in between the video. So if I wanted to add like a step one or I wanted to add a title page, I would just hit this plus sign over here. And that gives me another slide and then the options reappear for me. Um, let's say I wanted to add some text to this video. I can hit the plus sign and because I already chose video, I don't have the option of photo anymore, but now I can add text. So if I wanted to say hello, now that text will be added to my video when it plays. So I can hit play and just see how it looks. I'm Mrs. 
You also have the option of making a split screen. So when I was doing the supplies list, I thought, or giving instructions, I thought a split screen of text would be more helpful. You can switch what side it's on. You can add a caption or my webcam video is blocking <laughs> or you can do a title and text page. Also on the side here, you'll see that if you wanted a certain theme, so if I wanted a more elegant look, I may choose this Elevate, Elevate, and that would change my font, and it would also give me different color options. Again, it's a little bit limited in the color options and your typeface, but it's really convenient if you're trying to get a video up quickly um, with minimum edits. There's also a resize button, so if I wanted it to be more square, maybe if I was planning an Instagram video, I would choose square. And you can add music. Music will automatically be added to your video. So if you don't want it, you're just gonna have to switch off. After you have your video done, you have your slides adjusted where you want them to go, you can hit preview to make sure that everything looks the way you want it to. And oh, then if it here. does, this you can download it by clicking the download button. Some other features of Adobe Spark is a voice, recorded, a voice recording option, which you can click on by clicking this red button here. You will have to allow your microphone. Um, that way you can add a voice over to certain sections of your video. Because Adobe only works with 30 second intervals, it's easy to think about what you want to say in that section and what edits or um, text you want it to appear in that time. If you wanted to add an intro page, Adobe does offer free stock photos. So if I just wanted something that was a pattern that was pretty neutral, I could choose this. And then that would be my background and then add some text to it. Um, because this is just a stock image and it's not a video, I don't have it maxed out at 30 seconds, I could change how long this slide appears by clicking on this time button and then dragging it. Again, everything is in 30 second intervals, so it would only allow me to keep this up for 30 seconds, but I would really wanna think how long does my viewer want to sit and stare at text. So I may wanna drag this down to five or four seconds. You can also edit your video um, even more once you upload it by clicking this little edit circle. You can zoom, trim the video. So if I wanted to take some off the beginning or end, I could hit that trim or I can hit continue clip. If you upload a video that's longer than 30 seconds, you're most likely going to want to continue that clip. If you click continue clip, it will open the editor screen to where you left off. You can drag it to the 30 seconds or wherever you want it to end and then hit save. And that way your video is continuous. And if you wanted to add any pictures in between those 30 second clips, um, you would be able to do that because it's already split up for you. Another feature through this edit button here is if you do decide you want sound and you want it to play throughout, but you're talking in a specific scene of your video, you might want to hit soft music in this section or mute it all together.